What is up my peeps, Caliber724 here with another video for you guys today. In this video we have another unboxing. Um, this one was also from Amazon. I'll have the uh, screenshot up so you guys can see how much it cost. I believe I paid I think nine to ten dollars probably maybe you'll see um, in the screenshot but um, this is a gaming mouse a wireless mouse from Lumsing and um, yeah let's go ahead and get into it I'll go ahead and put these screenshots of the uh, of the box up on the screen just so you can see so we have micro switches rated for 5 million clicks a LED indicator resolution DPI selections low battery voltage uh, we have a forward and backward button USB receiver battery uh, what accepts two triple A batteries uh, we have three DPI selectors um, optical sensor PAW 4202 resolution 2000 DPI tracking speed up to 30 inches per second which is nice 12 month battery life 2.4 G USB nano receiver 15 meter long working distance 2000 dpi optical sensor which is pretty good on the side we have here uh, the system requirements 2.4 g rf wireless operating system windows 10 8 and 7 mac os uh, x 10.8 uh, package contents is wireless mouse usb receiver quick guide and you also got a warranty. This product has a 12 month warranty agree, uh, against manufacturing defects uh, starting from the date of purchase. So that's all good. But yeah, that is everything that's on the box. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. No tape or anything, so no uh, unboxing knife in this video. But yeah, here we go. We got the mouse here. Uh, pretty nice and then we also have some instructions on how to use the mouse that is about it that is in the box boom nice all right so here on the bottom we have the on and off switch green is on red is off um, we have the little bay here where the batteries go and then you have the uh, USB receiver so that's pretty nice so just slide that back in like here's the top of it which is pretty nice you got the uh, forward and backward button here you also have the uh, DPI switcher which you click this button and it'll switch the DPI course left and right click uh, we got the wheel and that is basically the rundown of this um, I'm gonna go ahead yeah that feels nice see usually if you have your hand like that then that's like the natural curvature of it so you get that natural feel to it my middle finger kind of goes over it a little bit it hangs off a little bit um, so I'm wondering is it mainly for those with like smaller size hands maybe I mean it's not that big of a deal like if I'm doing that then you can see it hangs off just a little bit not too much but I could just be doing like that but yeah that is the mouse right there but yeah let's go ahead and check out how it works all right guys, so here we have the mouse and also the USB adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. And I know, I know uh, you guys are wondering, well, why are you showing me how to use a mouse when I already know how to use one? The two main features I'm gonna show on this is the forward and back button and also the DPI controls. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, check out the channel right quick. And as you can see, this is it, it's kind of moving like at a uh, normal pace. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to show you the forward and back button. So if I click the back button, 
then it'll go to the uh, previous page. If I click the forward button, it'll go to the page uh, ahead if there is any pages ahead of where you're at. Uh, so then also they have uh, a DPI control. I just clicked it. And as you can see, it's moving a little bit faster. Now I believe it might have been on the uh, medium setting. Yep, so it was on the medium setting. I know the white on white is not really that great. Uh, this is like the medium setting here and then the fast setting. So what I'm gonna do actually is, as you can see here, this is pretty much the fastest setting. Now I'm barely, barely moving this and as you can see on the screen, it's moving wildly. see I'm on the lowest setting now. Now if I move, I'm just tapping it. But going on to the next one, if I just tap it, it just jumped way across the screen. Just crazy. And then the fast, the highest setting, 2000, boom, just like <laughs> I just tapped it and it jumped across the screen like, whoa. Oh my goodness, so that's really good. Um, that's basically what I wanted to show you guys as far as the DPI settings and the forward and back. Um, my analysis on that is the lowest setting is mainly for like, I would say browsing or just like casually going through web pages, just casually clicking on stuff. The middle setting, however, is more for productive use to be more efficient and multitasking and stuff like that. You're able to move, move more quickly through the tabs and more uh, and any other programs that you need to go through swiftly. And then the highest setting, which is crazy, more for gaming than anything else. I would say first person shooter gaming, stuff like that, something that's going to give you the advantage of actually being able to aim a little bit more quicker than everybody else. So that is my analysis on it. That's what I wanted to show you guys as far as the, um, the features of this mouse. Otherwise, it's just like normal, like a normal wireless mouse. You plug it in, you use it, you move it around, click on stuff, scroll through stuff, bada bing, bada boom, forget about it, you know. So that is about it for the premium features of this device. All right, guys, that is about it for the unboxing of the Lumsing wireless mouse. It is considered a gaming mouse, but I will consider it as a multi-purpose uh, mouse, mainly because of the different DPI settings on there. I mean, you could say it's for gaming, uh, being that you can change the sensitivity of the mouse with with the mouse itself, but I would say um, for my use, it would be a multi-purpose use, whether it be gaming uh, and first-person shooters, which I really don't do much, but um, I also do effective work like, you know, doing Excel spreadsheets, multitasking and stuff like that, and just casual browsing, which would work very good with the first two DPI settings, the 800 and the 1200. I feel like the buttons are pretty cool also. Those are the two premium features. You can say that the port for the receiver is a premium feature, but I think a lot of, um, a lot of the wireless mouses these days might have that. I mean, I'm not completely sure. Pretty easy to get out. Just stick it back in when you're moving around, being portable and stuff like that. I would say it's really good for those on the um, on the go, uh, for those who want to use that wireless mouse. But uh, for this, my review will be on my blog, so you can go ahead and check that out. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. But yeah, don't forget to be vocal on the social medias in the description below, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm always active on those, so go ahead and uh, hit me up on those social medias. You guys know what it is. Don't forget to be brave. Stay inspired. 
You know what it is. Yes, you know what it is. Peace.